fellow Taurus. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This is going to be a reading looking into your partner. This could be your present partner or your future partner. This reading will not resonate with every Taurus out there, so feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. I'm going to be taking a look at what your partner is thinking, what they feel about the connection, how they see you, what's challenging the connection, and what is the possible outcome. This reading will not resonate with every Taurus, so feel free to check out your other signs for more messages. Thanks again to those of you who have subscribed or commented or um, liked. I appreciate all of your subscribes, your likes, and your comments. Thank you so much. So let's, cards want to talk, so I'm just going to jump right in. Spirit, tell me how, what's on this person's mind. I feel like he already wants to. Tell me what's on this person's mind, okay? This person is thinking with the Seven of Swords and Queen of Pentacles, how they're gonna make this happen, how they're gonna make an offer or have a stable connection with you. I feel like with the Seven of Swords energy here, I'm thinking strategic, not, you know, sometimes we think of Seven of Swords as cheating and lying, which it is, but in this, with the Queen of Pentacles, it could mean that someone's trying to be strategic, you know, going towards you. For a very small number of you, this is someone that's already married or in a long-term commitment. And they're thinking about how to get out of it. How does, how does this person see Taurus? How does this person see Taurus? All I see is a ten of pentacles, so yeah, I that's why I'm saying I'm not getting that vibe of sneakiness or lying here. I'm I'm getting someone that's just trying to do things right, but at the same time I have the five of wands under the deck with higher font. So someone could be dealing with family or religion issues or something with um, maybe they're trying, maybe they're trying to get divorced or something. Um, maybe this is you Taurus, cause I have you here. You might be dealing with some drama, some not seeing eye to eye. How do they feel about this connection? How does this person feel about the connection? Energies can be vice versa. So keep it in, keep that in mind. How do they feel about this connection with Taurus? Whoa, okay, too many. But I feel like taking this one. Okay. Queen of Cups. So this person is in love. Or just feels very strongly about you. What's blocking or challenging this connection? Okay, I'm just going to take all of these. Nine of Swords, Eight of Wands, The Sun. I feel like what's challenging this connection is... Um, the type of communication going back and forth. I feel like someone's really happy and someone's worried or both almost like you're very happy to be speaking to this person, but you're also worried or stressed or tense or something like that. Um, others of you have been waiting for, for communication and you've been stressed out about when is it going to come in and then it finally does and that makes you very happy. What's the outcome of this connection for Taurus? What's the outcome? For a small number of you with the marriage thing, I feel like you're probably married or in a long-term commitment. And that's why we have this communication with the Nine of Swords. It's almost like an... Um, a forbidden communication that's for some of you only not all what's the outcome of this connection too many I love these cards but they're also really hard to because they're so thick so two of cups well there you have it a soulmate type of connection here Knight of Pentacles under the deck with Three of Cups. 
Some of you could be reuniting with an old flame. Others of you are just going to, are single as a Pringle right now. And that's going to change. Maybe you meet this person at some sort of party or work event or something like that. Um, so let's clarify with another deck and kind of see what else we have here. Spirit, help me clarify with these messages for Taurus. Regarding their person. I just want to you know about this person. Interesting. Four of Pentacles and the Fool. For some of you, this is a new connection. One more. Okay, let's see. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles for Taurus. Okay. Five of Cups. Interesting. Why the Five of Cups? Some of you have already rejected this person, and that's why they're being so strategic about trying to come back and make an offer. Wow, okay. Holy crap. Okay, so I have Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Hermit. So, I feel like, I feel like this is a connection from your past with the Six of Cups. Um, and that's why there's the Five of Cups here. I feel like someone was rejected in the past or it just didn't work out. Um, and this person retreated with the Hermit and they want to come back and make things right again with the Six of Pentacles. And that's why they're being so strategic. For others of you, this is just someone that was in, in your past and maybe things didn't work out. Um, and you've had a lot of self-care, self-reflection, and you've really thought about what you want. And so that's why um, you might reject this, this offer here. Just why I have the Nine of Swords over here. And I have Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, so something's going on. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. This person sees you as a long-term um, option for them. They're thinking long haul here. There's the Ten of Pentacles here. Knight of Cups, yeah. This person, they see you as the end-all be-all and they want to make an offer. How do they feel about this connection with the Queen of Cups? Tell me more about this Queen of Cups, please. This person has serious feelings. They could be a water sign. For those of you that, um, I've had some comments, people want me to talk about signs. It's kind of hard when you have all of the signs on the table, you know, we have wands, cups, swords, pentacles, so that's all the signs there. But I do see Hermit, which is Virgo. I see Knight of Cups, so I'm thinking Water, Energy, and Queen of Cups. So this person could have water in their chart. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups here and how they feel about this connection. Anything else? The Queen of Cups. Okay, so this person, I feel like they they feel really strongly. They want to make a move, but they're holding back a little bit. They're really thinking about how to do this. You know, I have pentacles here. I don't think this is going to be, yeah, four of pentacles. This person, I have two fours here, by the way, but this person is definitely almost like they're not communicating how they feel 100%. They might be, if they're your ex, they're just like, hey, how are you doing? Just checking in on you, wanting to see how you're doing. <laughs> But they're not telling you, hey, I have my eye on you to make an offer, right? Something like that. So what's blocking this connection? Tell me about this Nine of Swords, okay? 
King of Swords, the Sun. Okay, so interesting. Why the Nine of Swords? Nine of Swords has come up twice, but I feel like why the Nine of Swords? Okay, yeah, Three of Swords. Okay, so that's why. So someone's still healing from a past situation or currently dealing with a really tough situation. Doesn't have to be heartbreak. It could just be something really painful. Um, but I feel like when this person approaches you and starts talking to you, I think you're going to be surprised how happy they make you. Whatever communication is going in, it's like this person is being really honest and upfront. And it's like, you like that. Wheel of, for Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck there. Tell me about this outcome with the Two of Cups. I mean, I feel like I don't have to clarify this, but I'm going to. Why is the Two of Cups here? For Taurus. It's too many. Four of Cups. Interesting. Six of Swords. Okay, so someone might be traveling to you. You might be moving in together, something like that. Um... I feel like, I feel like for some of you, you're not going to be ready for this. And it's like, you're going to flee, you know, you're, you're going to be like, nope, <laughs> and get on this boat. Others of you, I feel like this person lives at a distance or something like that. And you're going to come together, but I don't think it's going to happen right away with the four of cups. I feel like this person's going to have to really convince you Taurus. Um, but they feel really strongly for you. Um, I have four of wands at the bottom of the deck. They definitely want stability and long term with you. Um, you know, they see you as the long game here. So they see uh, marriage and commitment with you. So that's what I see on this table. I'm going to leave it there. Taurus, thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, leave me a comment if this resonated with you. Subscribe if you like what I do. And I'll see you guys in my next video.